All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Arakakodash, and double honors unto the elders and apostles of GMS Great Millstone, and a sincere Shalom to you. I can bring out this word in diligence and in truth. And now, um, I recorded this this video of Will Smith. You see, on my screen like a while ago, man, like like months ago, and um, it wasn't. And I was just going back looking at uh, certain clips that I've uh, clipped, um, from my phone, and um. Hey, the spirit hit me as to why I um initially recorded it, man. And uh that's gonna be the basis of this lesson. Hey, as you see up there, it says uh Will Smith says Oprah will make him spill the beans. Now uh, I wanna get into it. I'm gonna let um let him speak. I'm going to run it back one more time. It's your, it's your idea to say this stuff, but it's not your idea. She's a sore source. It gets you. Stuff out you. That's why she over. Oh, there's a reflection. It's your, it's your idea to say this stuff, but it's not your idea. Now, he said it, you know, to the average person that's listening, they're thinking this all, oh, you know, it's a joke. You know, or, or, you know, it's Will Smith. He didn't mean it as that. Hey, but by the look on his face. He meant exactly what he said. You know, and we also understand there's a saying uh, that says, uh, in jest, there is truth. Basically, in jokes, there is truth, man. Or, you know, in comedic, uh, in things that are applied comedically, so to speak, there is truth. You know? And he said, Oprah, you know, she'll make me, you know, say things. She's a, she's a sorceress, man. Now, we understand this, what the scriptures say, right? It's Isaiah 9 and 16 says, For the leaders of this people caused them to err, and they that are led of them are destroyed. And understanding the, the, the spot or the, the social status in which Oprah has, you know, a lot of women of really all ages look up to her, you know, because what they see her as a, as a so-called black woman that's a, a billionaire on Forbes list. Uh, they aspire to be her. She, she gives money here and gives money there and does this and does that. But we all understand you don't get unto that pinnacle or that status that socioeconomic status without, especially being in that, that uh, specific light, a without being yoked in with Esau completely, man. You only get that once you've, once you've given in, once you've turned your back from Yahweh by Shemiah Washai. That's why the scripture also tells us this, a matter of fact, it says what? Woe unto you, because what? Ye have received... Consolation, yeah. This is Luke 6 and 24. It says, but woe unto you that are rich, for ye have received your consolation. Right, so those that have received that, that uh, status, you know, that, that basically the bag on this side, hey, you have received uh, uh, destruction unto you, man. It says, woe unto you that are rich, for ye have received your consolation. Right, you received your prize on this side, man. Because ultimately, in order to, to get to that spot in which you're looked at, and that's such high of regard, you know, where you're, you're, you're the face, you're the black woman that's a billionaire. You're the face of so-called what they say, black excellence, uh, you know, <laughs> which we understand what black is. Hey, you don't get there unless you bow down unto Esau. And we understand back in the garden, that's exactly what Eve has done, man. So, you know, as, as, as what we do, you know, we, we search things, man. We search things through the spirit. And, um... Hey, what, what we found or what I found through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemel Shah was amazing, man, because it all links back. Her name is an omen nomen. See, because Oprah's real name isn't Oprah. Her real name was Orpah. Right. And where's the proof of that? Well, right here. Now, here it says that Oprah legally changed her name. It says Oprah is a created name made famously by Oprah Winfrey, the talk show host. Right. Winfrey says that her name was originally or buh, on her birth certificate, but was constantly being mispronounced by her family. They legally changed her name to Oprah at the age of one. But her real name, the name given to her at bo her birth, her omen omen, her name was Orpah, man. Right? Here we go. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Let's see. Going down. Let's see. Let's see. Here it goes.
early life. I think you see. Yeah, here we go. Oprah Winfrey was born January 29th, 1954. Her first name was spelled Orpa or Opa or Pa on her birth certificate after the biblical figure in the book of Ruth. But people mispronounced it regularly and Oprah stuck. She changed it at the age of one or they changed it at the age of one to Oprah, man. But her name is originally o Orpa. Right. Her name is originally right here. And this is the BBC that says it. Her full name is Orpa Gail Renfrey. That's right. Boom. So there it goes. Her real name is Orpa. Now, it goes back to the scriptures. Orpa. Right? Now, it goes back. This is uh, from the book of Ruth 1 and 4. It says Orpa, gazelle. That's what it says, right? But when you go into the root word of it, hey, that's why this, the scriptures are undefeated, man. How about Shemel Shah is undefeated? It says Orpah, going back to Gazelle. Now, when we go into this um, Hebrews Chaldee lexicon, right? It says, boom, Orpah, Gazelle. Now, when you go into the root word of this, because some say it means Gazelle, others say it means this, man. You know what the, with the, the, the scholars, quote-unquote scholars say, right? But this is more fitting, right? Or Opa, Orpah. It says neck, back of neck, a fleeing apostasy, right? Because that's the act Orpah did to Ruth, man. She fled, right? Now, um, boo -doo -doo -doo. matter of fact, I'm going to go to that Ruth. Ruth 1 and 4, 1 and 7. That's a lot. <clears throat> Let's read it. All right, uh, this is uh, Ruth 1 and 11. It's like it. Ruth 1 and um, 14. And they lifted up their voice and wept again in Orpha, kissed her mother-in-law, but Ruth clave unto her. <clears throat> and she said, Behold, thy sister-in-law is gone back unto her people and unto her gods. Return thou after thy sister-in-law. So basically what? That's what Orpah did. She returned back, right? Now, going back to that word, Orpah, that root word, right? And they said, um, when I, you know, did some research on it. A gazelle is, is an animal in which its only um, ability or its only defense is to flee or to run, right? Going back into this root word, it says a fleeing of apostasy, stiff of neck, obstinate, right? It says declining. Oops, it's a lot. It says, mm, Observes the phrases to turn back, to turn the back to any, to turn oneself away from anyone. And we understand that what a uh, what's her name? Oprah, Oprah or Oprah being a, a Israelite, not saying uh, this, this character, the, the biblical um, individual in the camera with in the, the in the Bible, so like was a uh, was an Israelite. But I'm saying the, the woman, Oprah. You know, the Oprah Winfrey. Now, that's how I'm addressing. Oprah Winfrey, man, being Israelite, right? It says to turn oneself away from anyone or to turn the back. And Will Smith says she was a, a sorceress, man, because she's able to, to draw out, you know, and I'm going to play it again, to draw out things from these people, man. Sure, sure and look how he turns away from the camera when he said it. He says, like, your idea to say these things, but it's not your idea. That's That's heavy witchcraft, man. She's a sorceress to get things out of you. That's why she's Oprah. Or that's why she's Orpah, right? So she turned her back away. And that's exactly what the women of our nation do. A, because even, even presently, man, presently, the scriptures, I mean, uh, the accounts on the news say a lot of women have fled Christianity and, and religion and church. And basically the truth of, of, of the Bible in general and have gone into witchcraft, man. That's a fact. So she's turned her back away, man. And being what, a sorceress, and I want to go into that word sorceress. Right? From sorcerer. It says to conjure of evil spirits, teller of fortunes by lot. Right? Let's see if we get some more out of this. Witchcraft, magic, enchantment. Act or instance of sorcery, supernatural state of affairs, magical works, teller of fortunes by lot, 
one who influences fate or fortune, right? One who practices mad magic and sorcery. And that's exactly what's happened, man. So her name is an omen nomen. It's an omen nomen, man. It's an omen nomen. She's turned her back away from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai or, or the Lord, right? And what has gotten into witchcraft? Hey, and is in that pinnacle in Esau's system, man. This, this, hey, man, the, the scriptures are, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is undefeated, man. Now let's go into some precepts. Because the scriptures say, thou shalt not suffer what? This is Exodus 22 and 18. Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live, man. Hey, Deuteronomy 18 and 10. There shall not be found among you anyone that maketh his son or his daughter to pass through the fire or that uses divination or an observer or a times or an enchanter or a witch. It says, or a charmer or a consulter with familiar spirits or a wizard or a necromancer. For all that do these things are an abomination unto the Lord. And because of these abominations, the Lord, thy power, Yahweh, does drive them out from before thee. And that's exactly what, hey, uh, not just her, hey, but a uh, majority of the individuals, uh, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans have done, man. Y'all y'all are witches and, and, and wicked, man. See, because they see it as a source of, hey, because it is power. It's power on the left-hand side. It's power on the left-hand side. But Jake gives themselves unto that power. A, or gives himself unto basically Satan or sell out a to Esau, physical counterpart, a to receive that sense of power and to receive that that benefit or the um, the monetary part of it, you know, monetary and the social aspect aspect of it, man. But this is what it is. This is what Jake is into straight witchcraft, man. He could have chose any word except sorcerer. Or sorceress, Salakia. He could have chose any word except sorceress. But that was the word in which fit. Because that's what it, he told the truth, man. It was told in jest. But it was told of truth. So this is an omen omen. I just want to bring it to the, the body, man. This is. Hey, this was plain. Plain in the spirit. You know. And thought it was a an important. Just uh, an important. Um. You know, jewel, an important jewel, showing that everything is spiritual, man. Hey, those who have the eyes to see, and hey, we're able to, to decipher through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shai. Hey, now you're going to have a bunch of, uh, you know, two third end dubs comment. Oh, like, you just hate all that, man. You just hating a lot of, like, yeah, BS, man. This is the truth. We understand that these are the works of darkness. And hey, when we go into the book of, um, I'm going to grab it. Yeah, rather reprove. I'll grab that. The unfruitful works of darkness, as the scripture says, is Ephesians 5 and 11. It says, um, matter of fact, I'm sorry, 10. Proving what is acceptable unto the Lord and have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. Right? For it is a shame even to speak of those things which are done of them in secret. But all things that are reproved are made manifest by the light. For whatsoever doth make manifest is light. Hey, and that goes back hey, even into uh, uh, John, the third chapter, man, because Jake, what hates the light that they continue in the darkness. You know, if they see a uh, if they see a so-called, quote unquote, easier route by sending themselves out to to reach a, a certain status, to have a certain amount of money. That's exactly what Jake is going to do. But Esau ain't going to bring you up and allow you to reap the so-called uh, benefits unless you bow down to him fully, man. And as the elder of, as one of the elders of our camp always says, man, hey, for um, uh, the devil always wants his money back, man. The devil always wants his money back. So Esau requires things of these celebrities in order for them to continue in that light, man. They have to make sacrifices as well. As we make a righteous uh, sacrifices unto Yahweh by Shema Hashanah, by what? Hey, by, uh, you know, praying, by fasting. You know, by going to camp and preaching, by putting up lessons, a charity, things that things that are, are righteous in the spirit. Hey, well, they do the opposite, man. This is how Jake really gets down, man. So I just want to bring this to the body 
A Lord willing, it was edifying. I want to give all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Arakakwadash. A double honors unto the elders and apostles of GMS Great Millstone, and a sincere shalom to all you, I can bring out this word in diligence and in truth. Shalom.